Happy New Year everyone, Happy New Year, and we have a new series. So, as the title suggests, in this series we'll be taking a look at various different manufacturers. So without further ado, we're going to start today with Hot Wheels, They're actually more famous for, for their um, smaller car lineup. And today, actually, Hot Wheels collecting has picked up, especially in the US, parts of uh, Northern Europe. Personally, I don't collect these cars, but I just have them lying around. And um, we're not here to talk about them. <laughs> we're here to try to make sense of their Formula One lineup, which is uh, quite limited to a certain era, and I'll explain why. Um, and yeah, so as you can see, we have here the, uh, what is this, 2000 and 2000. We have the 2000, Michael Schumacher 2000 uh, uh, car. As you would expect, it has all the antennas. You have uh, details there with the camera here at the top. There's um, there's this marble or full livery, which is actually which actually comes from uh, from the factory. So I didn't add myself. Good luck finding this one on the market. Hot Wheels had a deal with Ferrari, Williams, Jordan, Jaguar, uh, and uh, McLarens in the 2000s, and they built various cars in um, in different uh, shapes and sizes. So mostly 1 to 43 and 1 to 18. In terms of quality, the Formula 1 lineup is comparable to the Mini Champs and, and the Spark. Look at this, look at this antenna mess. So as you would expect, like the winglets and all these mini wings and twisters and, and curves, they are all present on on the Ferraris. And I would say this is an, this is an accurate replica. Sorry for the screeching sound. But if you want to if you want to get more from your buck, you should try the Hot Wheels Elite, which is a completely different uh, ball game. In some cases, this in the old car, there's a lot of... So the plastic is being removed and uh, instead they put like this nice premium metal, like you see the steering wheel, some details there on the seat. So if you if you want to extract more value from your, uh, from your money, try to go for the... Um, uh, Hot Wheels Elite car and Hot Wheels Elite actually produced some of these Michael Schumacher cars. These are these are the standard version, so no Hot Wheels Elite. I only have a uh, I only have this one as a Hot Wheels Elite, and <laughs> the wheels are already a bit wobbly. So probably it won't stand the test of time, but it could be a mistake from uh, from the factory. But usually the Hot Wheels Elite they have like some really nice detail, as you can see here on. Uh, on, on that tire is here is missing for some reason this car feels a bit more premium and plastic at the same time which is kind of weird to explain but um yeah that era was was getting a bit complex as you can see these antennas are getting a bit uh, um let's say, let's call it like uh, bulky compared to compar comparing to comparing to these ones obviously more attention to detail was spent on this one than on this one for some reason this car is like almost 70 pounds and this one is i think i got it so 20 pounds or something like that. Those of you out there who are collecting world champions, you might know that world champions cars are like crazy expensive. But the good thing with the um, with, with the Ferraris, with the Michael Schumacher, is that you can actually buy them really cheap. You should put them on your watch list, leave it there, and then you'll see some of the people actually selling sets. So if I take this one out of the picture, you can literally buy like something like this. So you have like um, four-time world champion. I think there's one with the, with the five cars that probably cost like less than a hundred pounds. So there's definitely a lot of value in these cars. Some people just take a look at them and just like undersell them. And uh, well, I can understand they, um, Hot Wheels is sort of viewed as this uh, third wheel <laughs> and um, behind Mini Champs and Spark in terms of quality, but actually they're not too bad. So if, if your focus is just like collecting Ferraris, obviously you have no other alternative than to buy Hot Wheels cars. There's there's a few mini champs, but those uh, predate the uh, the times when um, Hot Wheels had the had the deals with Ferrari. So there's no other way. You're gonna have to stock with um, with these ones, especially for the older cars. I think the new license is to be Burago. So there's no way. Uh, I'm obviously here and there. Occasionally, mini champs will release some of the world champion lineup. So that's pretty much it for this video. Obviously, a uh, thumbs up for the lineup definitely worth buying there's um there's good value here and there and more importantly um if you if you have a budget obviously you know stick stick to these cars and don't go crazy expensive keep them on your watch list have patience 
and you'll see that um, you'll find the you'll find the right price. If you put them on a shelf, uh, these wobbly 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 wheels actually they 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 don't matter. It's just like the cars will look there just fine, as you can see. Just have to <laughs> adjust it if you have OCD. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, we'll be reviewing about I don't know like eight or seven. Maybe seven. I have to see them because I have like a lot of them. I'll break them down um, uh, somewhere. Down, I don't know what I'm saying. I should close this video. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.